Keeping in mind that sets are events, we use E union F to represent the event that E or F happens, and we use E intersect F for the event E and F happen as a result of the same outcome. Basic counting principles prove the following rules. The probability that E and F both happen due to the same outcome is equal to the probability of E times the probability of F given E, or the probability of F times the probability of E given F. That's the multiplication principle with the fact that E and F might affect each other. The probability of E union F is equal to the probability of E plus the probability of F minus the probability of both. That's just the addition principle. Here again is our deck of 15 cards, seven of which are green, numbered one through seven, and eight of which are pink, numbered three through 10. E, again, is the event that you pull a green card. F is the event that you pull a card whose value is five or higher. And remember from the last video that the probability of E is seven fifteenths, the probability of F is nine fifteenths, and the probability of E given F is three ninths. This time, we're going to calculate the probability of E and F occurring due to the same outcome. Now, whenever we have the ability to enumerate all of the sample space, we should try to find the probability by counting. How many cards lead to both E and F? Well, it's the green five, the green six, and the green seven. So there are three cards that lead to both E and F out of the 15 total cards. However, we can also get this answer by doing P of F times P of E given F. P of F is nine fifteenths times P of E given F, which is three ninths. The nines cancel and we have three fifteenths. Now let's find the probability of E union F. We want to count the outcomes that lead to E or F. All right, well, there are seven green cards. And then other than that, the cards that lead to a number greater than or equal to five are these. Seven plus six is 13. So there's a 13 out of 15 probability that you will get a green card or a card whose value is at least five. Using the addition rule, we have P of E plus P of F minus P of E and F, which is seven out of 15 plus nine out of 15 minus three out of 15, and seven plus nine is 16, minus three makes 13.